Hello everybody, it's Natty Nandez. How's everybody today? Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Had a fabulous visit with my son. Had some dinner. It was wonderful. Came over and we spent the evening together. We watched an old movie, Halloween Town with Debbie Reynolds. So we had a couple giggles. Old movie, man, but it's so much fun. So that's what I did yesterday. I hope y'all had a good weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. Enjoyed myself. Uh, it was nice and quiet. And today, it's like... 38 degrees and wet. It just started raining, so this is going to have to be a quick one. Now, one of my favorite actors played Bull Shannon on Night Court. He just passed away. And so did Matthew Perry. So young. My heart goes out to the families. May they both rest in eternal bliss. And may their memories be a blessing. So anyway, let's get on to some news that's news, shall we? Now... The Democrat, uh, Democrats are trying to get a, a bundle together for Ukraine, Israel, uh, humanitarian award, um, award, humanitarian uh, money for uh, Palestinians, and to build up resources at the southern border. Now, the new speaker there, Mr. Jesus Boy himself, he doesn't want them all bundled in. Now. What's the difference if they take them and separate them like they want to do? They want to vote on individual ones. Because you know the one from Ukraine is getting nothing, right? You know that. He's already voted against it and so did most of the other ones. So that's why they don't want it bundled in. They want uh, a secure border, but they don't want Joe Biden to be the one to do it. That's the simple reason for it. So we'll see. They're all up in... Uh, Raising their arms and, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, poor Israel, poor Israel. Well, you know, Netanyahu, he screwed up all that piece. You know that, right? He's as far right as Trump is. So I think that other guy needs to come back in power. You know, after Netanyahu goes to prison for fraud and all the rest of the stuff? Yeah, just like uh, the mango moose knuckle. And then... The little speaker of the house is really little louse. Oof. He's, he's a Jesus boy, right? So why can't he come up and uh, do the thing for all the people that are suffering in the world while he's got the big hammer and can do it? He's up there thinking he's Thor up there with that thing. Well, anyway, they're all going on about the poor people of Israel, Israel, Israel. Well, you know what? They're so worried about Israel. Why do they let uh, Maggoty Trader there get away with the Jewish space lasers and they're on about George Soros all the time? That's just friggin' dog whistles against Jewish peoples. Like back in uh, the early days when they had uh, no Irish, no Jews, no dogs allowed. Yeah. Remember those days? They would love to go back to that because they want to get rid of anybody in our country that's from Israel get rid of those and of course if you're Muslim you gotta go right this is Jesus boy that's his thing and they're talking about free and fair elections and everything else the speaker of the house is the architect for the guidelines on how to overthrow your government all the swing states he wrote all those papers to overthrow the goddamn government will he answer to that no he won't and what pisses me off is guys like Ken Buck that stood by their guns and they went on about how they weren't going to vote for an election denier and all the rest of the stuff. Well, they got the friggin' architect of the uh, election denials and how to overthrow your government. Yeah, they put him in as chairman and speaker of the house. Never chaired a committee, never passed a bill. He's done nothing, absolutely nothing. That's why nobody knew who the hell he was. Everybody had to Google him. So they figure some obscure fool from the back benches might be better than a big mouth like Jordan. They're both the same. They're both the identical same person. Both spouting off about Jesus and all the rest of the stuff. When they treat everybody that doesn't look like them, act like them, or pray like them, like shit. So you tell me where Jesus says, Oh, you don't have to love everybody, just the people that you want to. Never mind that we're all made in God's image. Never mind that. Oh, no. We'll just have to uh, pick and choose because we're on earth and obviously Jesus isn't. So they tell us when we were kids, Jesus was everywhere. We were afraid to go to the bathroom for Christ's sake in case 
Jesus saw our wee bum. Seriously. So, yeah. All their bullshit is coming home to roost, I think. And I don't think old Mike there, they might have all voted for him, but I think most of them voted for him under duress. And if they had it done one little uh, secret ballot, that little bastard wouldn't be in there. Him and his, uh, his wife on her knees for a week. That's some, that's some going, I'm saying. I wonder if she had her knee pads on. Because old Mike's going to have his on every time he runs down to Marlardo there. That's right. Go to Mar-a-Loco. Oh, Vivi's way down the other end of the yard there. So anyway, yeah, this rant's getting a little long. But I uh, had to get some things off my chest. That's how things are going in the Great White North at 38 degrees and rainy and ugh. Well, I'm going to go make a big pot of chili. That's what I'm going to do. I'll talk to you all later. Naughty Nan loves you. Be good, be safe, be good to you first. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I love you. Mwah.